Do you really want to be that guy at the dive site, breaking your back, carrying your tanks, or a weight belt, being completely out of gas with swimming into a little bit of a current? I guess not, right? So, um, why don't you want to be that guy that can just do your pull-ups without some big effort? It doesn't take much effort and it doesn't take much discipline, just a tiny little bit. In this episode, we'll talk about fitness and why you should stay on top of your fitness as a scuba diver. We've made a video before on why fitness is important for scuba divers. And uh, today I'd like to go a little bit into depth about that. And it's giving you three reasons why specifically uh, fitness, your cardio fitness, your strength and your endurance, your muscle endurance are important for scuba divers. Now today we found this nice little park area. The kids are playing out back. I'm just here doing like a little bit of a circuit on this on this place here. Point in case is you can just make some time in your daily schedule to fit this in. It just takes a little bit of extra planning, you know, taking a special some, some different clothes on when your kids are playing on the playground and at the same time you can keep an eye on your kids while you're working out a little bit. As a diver we carry around with heavy equipment either on our backs, you know, coming up the stairs on a boat, walking on the parking lot, in general carrying it around, it just puts a strain on us. And most of the diving injuries I've seen in my years all over, they have been people dropping stuff, spraining their backs, uh, tearing a muscle on the boat, all that sort of stuff, strength related issues. There where I can see people struggling on the surface uh, with a current while they're getting their gear sorted is because of lack of you know cardio fitness uh, when you see people going into a little bit of a panic underwater and I'll come to that later why fitness can help with that is also related to cardio fitness so what kind of things should you do should you focus on to prepare you for a life as a diver or to get the most out of your hobby without breaking you um, like I said a little bit of cardio, so go for a run, go for a bike ride, do some swimming, combine all three or if you like, I mean that's what I do because it takes the whole body into account. So running takes care of your legs, bike, bike, cycling get, takes care of your cardio and some strength in your legs as well. And then the swimming part helps you a lot with the breathing and the comfort in the water. So it's a good thing to combine both. Now, stress. Stress is a mental thing for the most part. <laughs> Let's talk about stress. Um, when we talk about stress, something, a mental stress, you know, you're getting stressed by, I don't know, uh, some equipment failure, uh, you're getting stressed by your teammates trying to hurry you up or you're forgetting stuff. You're getting stressed because you're a little bit anxious before the dive. It doesn't really matter where the source comes from. Eventually that stress is going to impact you physically. Because what stress is going to do, it's going to elevate your breathing, it's going to elevate your heart rate. And it's going to release some, some chemicals in your body that will either, even further increase your heart rate and your breathing. It's going to get you ready to start running or start fighting. So what can you do to eliminate that stress uh, or give yourself a buffer until that stress takes over? And, and, and that's what we're talking about. It's called the panic response. So the higher your level of fitness is, the more your body can tolerate a higher breathing rate and a higher pulse, a higher heart rate, before it takes over and you go into panic. Because if stress goes out, keeps building up eventually you go into panic and you know if there's instructors out there you all have seen this you get some people that are trying to get are getting stressed because 
you know, it's exciting diving and oh, it's a bit dangerous and all of a sudden it snaps and they go in a full-blown panic. And, and that's because the body has met its level. The better cardio fitness you have, the bigger is that buffer. So it gives you a better capability to dealing with stress underwater. If you start breathing too hard, you start hyperventilating, we don't get enough clear like good oxygen to the brain and we can't start thinking clearly and we go into panic we don't want that the fitter you get because of your running or cycling or whatever you do one parameter that's used in the sports world is called vo2 max it's a measurement of fitness so to speak and it's basically um, the volume of oxygen you can consume um, when you're at your peak of the vo2 max so that means that your body is able to be more efficient with the oxygen that is being dealt. So don't think if you have a VO2 max, you can transport a large amount, a large volume of oxygen that you'll then consume more gas, because it doesn't really work that way. Because if you're not working hard, your muscles just take the oxygen and produce ATP uh, from the glycogen in there to get your some, you know, energy. Uh, the higher your VO2 max is, the better your fitness is, the more efficient your body becomes in producing energy with the oxygen. That's just a big plus side because you get better oxygen use and therefore a lower gas consumption and you stay more in control. Muscular endurance or functional strength, however you want to call it, is beneficial in everyday life, you know, carrying shopping bags and doing some DIY projects around the house, changing a tire on your car, you name it. Functional strength is very beneficial. Uh, you don't need to be a bodybuilder or a weightlifter or a Mr. Hercules, that's not necessary. But a good level of you know, muscular strength um, gives you a great benefit. Carrying your cylinders, not breaking your back by picking up these heavy weight belts and all that sort of stuff because as a diver we can't really lift stuff as we should because the tanks are awkward they're big they're bulky they're in the back of the car you know they're they're always at awkward places so we're gonna put ourselves in a position where it's easy to sprain our backs and like I said that's where I've seen the most injuries in diving that's actually on the boat or behind the car when someone sprains their back or throws a muscle or whatever so it starts with your core doing some core exercises, some simple sit-ups, and you can do this in front of the television watching your favorite show, do some, uh, you know, some, some chest ups, just core fitness. Go on YouTube and just say, look at, uh, follow along, 20 minute core exercise at home. Right now, YouTube is, because of COVID, exploding with um, self-made fitness gurus out there. So just pick one you like and do it. Anything is good. You know, as long as you're doing something. Um, that just builds up a bit of a core muscle and a bit of a, uh, a core strength that'll help you out greatly as a diver. Now, areas to focus on, personally, I think are uh, your lower back. So lower back arches, uh, raise those. Some squats, uh, one-legged squats, pistol squats, especially as a diver, you know, getting off a bench with a heavy twin set on your back or a rebreather for that matter. Um, doing some uh, shoulder works and uh, doing some uh, chest work will keep that upper body uh, strong to lifting tanks to you know not get tired by valve drills and all that sort of stuff so so focus on that as well and then you'll see great great benefits in your diving in general so I hope this little video inspired you to go out there and think a little bit about your body maybe cut some kilos uh, here in this corona situation, maybe we've all put on a little bit too many kilos. So um, Stop making excuses because that's so easy. Ah, it's raining. It's raining right now. I got the kids I got the kids right now. We don't have time. We have a family uh, Agreement with some friends. Yes, we do have that in Exactly 45 minutes. There's excuses enough Just go out there and just do it half an hour every other day will make wonderful changes do it anyway let me know down in the comments below what you do to stay fit as a diver and give some tips maybe i forgot something or maybe you got a pointer leave them down in the comments below 
like and subscribe and uh, see you out there guys stay fit and stay healthy